Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and I'm coming to you live from round three of the Crate Cup team event. Right here, we have the, uh, what is it called? The Legend of the Five Johnsons team still on table one, still uh, repping here, and this is versus... Uh, a team name that I'm actually not sure of off the top of my head, but the on the team you have Paul Heaver, three-time world champion, uh, Jonathan Proctor, Steel Open 2017 champion, champion Derek Tokaz, and I feel super bad for the fourth person because their name is slipping my mind. Okay. But uh, super excited about that. We will uh, get started here in a minute. We're going to go ahead and break... What? Uh, Arata24, that might be your your current video settings, not our, on our, uh, on, uh, for us, we, it looks, looks real good. Um, super excited for this matchup. We got Matt Erb, who I played yesterday on stream, uh, with the Empire, Darth Vader, with just Afterburners, Major Vermeil with Death Troopers, Countdown, and Gideon Hask. Death Troopers, if you're not familiar, it's uh, when a ship is at 0 to 1 of, uh, of the ship that has Death Troopers. They're not allowed to take away stress, so you can't uh, get rid of those stress tokens when you have them. And then on the right, we got Paul Heaver just working on that scum efficiency. Boba Fett, we know Boba Fett is good with Trick Shot, Kira, Proximity Mines, Rig Cargo Shoot, and Slave One. If you're not familiar with the Slave One card, that's something we haven't seen too often uh, with the popularity of the Marauder title early in second edition. But the Slave One, it's awesome, gives you a lot of flexibility. So there's a Slave One title after you reveal a hard turn. Uh, maneuver or bank maneuver, you may set your dial to the maneuver of the same p same speed and bearing in the other direction, and it adds a torpedo slot. I mean, that is just super powerful. He's like, you know what? Actually, I want to go in the complete opposite direction. Now, mind you, Boba Fett is initiative five, not initiative six. We got Vader, who will have some uh, perfect information on the board state being the initiative six. And Paul also brought the rig cargo chute, which is just good for getting in the way, especially with these Reapers and uh, and Striker. Um, those things have to execute the adaptive ailerons or advanced ailerons before they move. And uh, things like rig cargo chute can really, really mess them up. Lando is just there to coordinate. Just give extra actions, extra efficiency to Boba Fett. Making sure that he can be as survivable as possible. And then old Tarok, is, his job is to get all up in people's face. Take away those tokens so that Boba Fett can deal the death blow. And of course, old Tarok's not too bad at that either. Being able to get four dice at range one. Let's see how this shakes out. We're going to go ahead and get our poll up here. Who do you think has the advantage in this match? Matt or Paul. I'll go ahead and get that on the screen there. You can vote very easily by giving me a number one for Matt and a two for Paul. Also, we are uh, working on a GSP U-Wing giveaway. We're looking for five more Twitch subs is our current goal to unlock the giveaway of the uh, Gold Squadron Podcast U-Wing. It's always interesting how I see people vote in these polls. Sometimes you're going for player names. Sometimes you're looking at the matchup. So let me know in the chat, how are, when you make your decisions, let's say in this, this match, do you think it's the matchup or the players? Who are you voting for? You're actually going for, you know, you think Matt's list is better? You think Paul's list are better? Or are you voting for Paul because he's a three-time world champion? You know, you expect him to highly perform. All 
All right, so currently the matchup is leaning towards Paul. And I do want to remind you that this round is brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives, your source for your acrylic game token needs. You can use coupon code CRATECUP19 for 15% off of a $15 minimum. Andrew just finished putting a bunch of really awesome new items in the shop, including strain tokens, which we all need to get ready for Wave 3, which uh, we don't know exactly the time when Wave 3 is going to be dropping, but we know it's soon because FFG is starting to accelerate those articles, and usually that's a sign, hey, it's around the corner. So get your strain tokens. We also have new advanced arc ID tokens, new target lock shapes as well if you want it to vary uh, the ones that you have currently. There's also Birmingham Baron swag there as well. I have actually on my Birmingham Baron t-shirt. Super comfy and also very stylish. You know, it's really cool to see people in the X-Wing community uh, wearing uh, t-shirts from other squads. It just shows the awesome community that we, community that we have here in X-Wing who are willing to represent other peop other players, other people around the world. And I know trading t-shirts is one of my favorite things to do as well as stickers and that's they also have their their Birmingham Baron stickers up there as well if you wanted to snag a couple of those District Foundry saying I'm calling Paul right now he ghosted me <laughs> I should raise that uh, that Twitch Prime goal to a hundred, and if, if we get to a hundred, maybe I I call Paul. All right, so Matt leading with countdown. Countdown's ability allows him to receive only one damage in exchange for whatever damage is coming in by taking a stress. It's absolutely fantastic, and the cavalry has arrived. Nami delivering me food. I can eat. There is sustenance. There are waffle fries. Like I, I won't shout out the company just because. Okay, yeah, they they got to pay for that one. So, company, if if you if you want to talk, just uh, send me a message. That's good, man. It's all good. Escape crap. Escape crap. Barrel rolling back. Creating some space for Boba Fett. Boba ready to face down that Reaper and the Striker. Uh, I am that Dave. I, I, I could give you guys the table mic. The problem is that our uh, our goal to be as family friendly as possible, of course. Um, there are a lot of adults out there who are not using very good language, so trying to keep it uh, keep it. You know what I mean? So that uh, that modded ship there, this is Vader. He has it modded like a Tie Avenger. Super awesome. Got to see it on stream yesterday as well. And they did a range check, and it looks like we are out. We are going to be having the.
first engagement here in the next round. Kif Tan. Yeah, well, the table mic is something I can hear. Not a... Uh, not anybody, not anybody else. We're going to get a little table silence here so I can take a couple bites of my food before we get into it. All right, we'll probably get into it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about the color, guys. Just switched back to yellow. We were using yellow all day yesterday. And uh, when it resets, it resets the color back to red manually. So there's the one forward. I don't know if you guys saw me drawing what I thought was going to happen. I think he's just going to one. Oh, big bank in here. I like it. What he's done there, he's uh, taken away the space where Turok could have uh, jumped there. And I'm guessing Countdown's going to end up right behind. Might get some jam action here. Jam! That's a tractor token. Removes the target lock. And hard two. Trying to cut off Boba's uh, maybe escape attempt here. And I, I like the move because he's... There's nowhere for Turok to go here to uh, to get that ability off on the striker. So no shenanigans from Kira with uh, that lock being stripped away from Kira. It's going as far back as possible. I think uh, 
Matt's calling the three bank onto the rock. That would have been fine with Kira there, but uh, Matt was able to jam. But we'll see if Paul saw that. One bank from the escape craft. Now, Paul's thinking. One of the options he does have is coordinating l with Lando to Boba Fett to reestablish that lock on the rock if that was the plan. There's a small rock right there if you can see that. The mustache. I can hear Paul anguishing. Got he's he's flip flopping between a couple of decisions, and it looks like he is relocking the rock. And there's a three bank over onto the rock. So Kira is the reason why he's doing that. So while you move and perform attacks, you can ignore obstacles that you are locking. So he's allowed to sit on there, doesn't take any damage or rolling or anything, and he's going to be able to shoot. Paul has a lot of options here. Um, he can choose to try to boost in here. Especially if uh, Matt was might maybe overshooting with uh, with Vader. The boost to the right might get him out of arc from uh, from countdown there. Looks like he's going to believe in the Boba. He's going to believe in the Boba. Does it land? Does not fit. What? I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Be bad, Ak. Vader is a custom ship model, and Vader calls the three bank there. Boba has three arcs on him. All right, here we go. Going range three on Lando. Debating spend the force. He's going to go ahead and spend the focus. Ah, okay. That's an old T. Oh, two hits on a crit early on Terrock. Fuel leak. It's a blank crit in this sense. 
One damage. So apparently there's some, there's some food here. <laughs> Damage engine on to this striker. No, on the on the Reaper on Vermeil. Going at countdown. Hit crit. And he's going to go ahead and use his ability, take a stress, and take one damage. All right, getting in, reaching. He would have liked to throw those dice at Old Tarak, get that ability going. And safe. Now I have to talk about the amazingness of the X-Men community. Be bad, AK. Uh, thank you. I have received your food. I'm opening it up right now. And thank you so much, Some Mongolian beef. Oh, Duncan did not save him. That's one more damage on Tarak. Gone. Matt taking the early lead here. <laughs> Arata24, yes, a Twitch person just bought me food. Thank you so much. Looks like Lando's going to be going range three at countdown. Just one. Safe. All right. And uh, the players, you know, one of my favorite things about the X-Men community, especially a lot of these uh, these community events, you have players talking out the game even while they're playing. So you see Paul gesturing his hands there. They're just talking about, you know, I was, I was debating this and that. And they're like, yep. Yeah. So um, in the system phase, one option that Paul does have is dropping that proximity mine. Man, San, thank you so much. Um, we're at 78. He might drop the pro the proximity mine. And he's marking Boba out the way. I think he Matt just wanted to see his lanes there. What kind of swag do I have for you guys between rounds? Oh, I got some stuff for you guys. I got some some funny cards with my um post wisdom teeth faced on it. We got some uh some really cool crate cards. We got some malls. We got we got all kinds of stuff here. Also got these target locks. We're gonna be giving away here and there as well. All kinds of stuff. So I'm going to answer this question in the chat here. Somebody's asking, why is the Fang Fighter so many points? It dies in the first engagement a lot. So the the thing is that Matt called called what Paul was going to do with Old Terak. And 
the Fang Fighter wants to be in range one of as many enemies as possible because of the Concordon face-off. He didn't have any enemies that were actually shooting him at range one, so no, none of that extra damage uh, was mitigated. Uh, he didn't have an action, no focus. Fang Fighters die when they're at range two and three. At range one, they are beasts, absolute monsters. They're able to old Terrak and strip tokens, Ad evades when he's being defended. Uh, just Matt played it correctly and was able to uh, to catch Paul and, and get Old Terrak out. And B Bad AK, I want to say thank you so much. I'm going to be nomming on this here uh, between the round. Thank you so much. There's been some confusion about proximity mines. I'm almost sure Paul's going to drop it here. There's no reason not to drop it. You have the um, automatic one damage plus two dice being rolled. I'm back. We are at 78 subs. Weaver CT, I don't know why we're not at 80 yet. It's because two people down in their heart are fighting it. They're fighting their desire to click the Twitch Prime button. Looks like we just got a new patron. Thank you so much to Austin King. Saw that pop up on my phone. Sub saturation, I know. Also, other brand new patrons want to say thank you to... Oh, oh, that was 79. Thank you to Andrew Goldbach, Travis White, uh, Daryl McDonald, Samuel Dameron, Sean Dant, Drive Tech, Carl K, Pirate Lord 70, we did it! We did it! 80. Done. They felt the movement in their heart. Oh, it was Quickened! Quickened did it again! We had two. And IJ Browning. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. We did it. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the gifts and the resubs. You guys are amazing. Absolutely fantastic. We have unlocked the giveaway for the GSP U Wing for Le Twitch. It's happening. I wasn't even planning on giving away that U Wing <laughs> Not, uh, at this event. <laughs> you guys forced my hand. Good job. Good job. I'm just going to have to have Luke pay more, paint more awesome things. Alrighty, waiting. This is a big turn. Um, even though Paul lost Old Terak, Boba Fett has all of those reroll abilities and is able to just do some ridiculous amount of things um, in order to just be super survivable, keeping ships at range one, um, being outnumbered, especially if he can um, try to attract some... Um, some bumps and take away some of Matt's shots, but while having extra ships at range one, just being able to have those rerolls on both offense and defense, it's really good. You see the subtle curl flop, curl pop flex? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I'm here for the sponsors, baby. That's right, every day. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Allen poking his head in. These custom range rulers made by Curl Paul for this event. 
And you can go to curledpaw.com, curledpawcreatives.com to get 15% off. Just use our coupon code CRATECUP19. Get your strain tokens. Get your Baron's gear. Get your new locks. Get your oversized ID tokens. Whatever you need, we're there for you. CurledPaulCreatives.com. Ember, thank you so much. Matt's setting, setting that dial. He's anguishing just a little bit. He knows that Gideon's in kind of a weird spot. But Gideon is in the spot to take advantage of his positioning for blocking. Now, I'll be honest. I have no idea what what Paul's going to do here. One kind of crazy idea, right? So he drops the prox mine, right? Drops the prox mine. You coordinate target lock to Boba to shift the lock over here. You take the, you know, you have to roll for the for the rock that he's on and then move on over. It's it's kind of kind of a crazy one, but that's one option maybe. So drops the prox mine, one damage onto Vermeil. That's half points. Just going for the two bank, just trying to get in Boba's face. All right, got the sloop from Vermeil. I'm going to go ahead and mark this so that the striker can get through here. It's a 3 forward. It's currently stressed. That will unstress it. Let's go ahead and get that damage engine crit onto Vermeil. Uh, no, damage engine is the hard turns increase their difficulty. And that's a bump. If there was any coordination shenanigans planned, it's not happening this turn. And Paul dialed into one turn. He gets to choose the direction he wants to try to go because of the Slave 1 title. And there's the one turn. And he's going to drop a rig cargo shoot on to Gideon. That's going to do a couple of things. It's going to stress him, cause him to roll the dice, and it might even make the shot from Gideon to Boba Fett obstructed, depending on the positioning. Uh, nope. So, no obstruction there, but still stress, though. And it looks like he'll probably grab another stress on the way out. It seems to be overlapping those nubs. Rig Cargo Shoot is not a device, even though it's on the device page. Eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs. All right. This is Vader. Range 2 on to L3. Just one. Debating spending the force. Does not. Gets it. Boba Fett has some choices here. It's 
She has both Vader and Gideon. It's a, it's a good opportunity to get shots on Vader. I think that's the choice that he needs to do in order to get ahead in this game. So he's going at Vader. Trick shot. Range one at Vader. Five dice. No mods, though. Boom. Only one. And he has two dice for Boba. I said no mods. You know what I mean. Besides, besides Boba being Boba, of course. And was able to get one more there. And evaded. So had a pr practically had a target lock with uh, with the number of enemy ships in range one and didn't get anything out of it. That really hurts. That could have been a big swing for Paul there. Matt Roland. Vermile using his ability. Safe. And Gideon... Choosing to fire at Lando, I believe. Oh, this is against Boba Fett. Safe. Excuse me. Takes one. Excuse me. Ah. They're moving so fast. Lando's up. He's going... Trick shot, three dice at Vader. And only one. He can use Lando's ability. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So after you roll that, you can take a stretch to re-roll all your blank results. Hmm. So it's not that. So it, did it say eyeball results on there? Did I not see it? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Matt is at 200 points. Paul, I believe, had a small bid. Let's take a look here. Paul sitting at 194. And we're back to dials now.
All right, I am back here. <clears throat> I have successfully completed my lunch, dinner. All righty. So, let's take another look here at some of the possibilities. <clears throat> Matt, Matt, Matt. Vader is in kind of a weird spot. He's going to end up with another stress token. So Vader's going to want to do a blue maneuver. So if we look at the TIE Advance dial, the TIE Advance has available to it the 2 and 3 forward blue and the 1 and 2 banks. So... Um, he definitely does not want to end up double stress. You know, most likely locked into a blue here. Lando is probably going to try to come up here, take up some space, and avoid and try to stop Vader from doing the one bank and end up on. He's going to try to make him end up on that debris again, if he can, or at least trying to avoid some shots. So, uh, Paul's going to go ahead and drop another, the second charge on the proximity mine. So, he's going to go ahead and proximity mine Vader. More eyeballs. Only takes a single shield on that. Oh, man. Paul is... <laughs> He's cringing a little bit. You know, he's dropped both these bo both these bombs, had a low uh low outcome on the last uh last move here, definitely below the averages. Although sometimes that's just how it shakes out. Gideon bumps there into Lando, excuse me, into Boba. Lando should be up next after the uh, after the Reapers and Countdown. They're all initiative four. Rolls for the debris. No, uh, no damage there. Debris only do damage on crits. Now, no advance ailerons from the Reaper because of the stress. That'll remove the stress. And there's the focus action. So he's doing, uh, so that would be a one bank bump into the, uh, into the escape craft on the ailerons and then following that up with, with a sloop, it looks like. Yep, there it is. Lando's just trying to get some space here. Tries trying to block the one bank away from Vader here. And the two bank. I think they might both be blocked up. And takes a damage over the rock. He dials in a one turn. Taking a look at that, he gets a choice because of the Slave 1 title, whether he wants to go left or to the right. And he's going to the left, he's, he's choosing the offensive option. Boba Fett has that ability to re-roll those dice on defense and offense plus the focus is going to make him pretty tanky this turn even with all those shots coming in and it looks like that is probably a bump we're going to go ahead and mark Lando and does not fit So 
So Vader will be taking the effects of the... Uh, only end up with one stress because you did a blue maneuver. Hit the debris again. We'll take the stress again and roll. Only takes damage on crits, which is very unlikely. All right, looks like Countdown is stressed, so we're going to have Boba Fett into Countdown. Range 1, full mods if he wants it, essentially. All right, he's got the reroll. Looks like he's willing to spend that focus on defense, I mean on offense. Countdown, countdown, countdown. These are for Dion. These are for the stream. Oh, my goodness. All right, so he decided to uh, just go ahead and re-roll. Two hits and two evades. Whoa. Man. Matt. He's got that rolling technique down. And if you're wondering, yes, they are sharing a dice pool. <laughs> that is uh, a set of stream dice that I have out there. They are fair and balanced. Here's that Boba Fett reroll. No damage. Next shot into Boba Fett. Only one, and safe. Hit, crit, crit. Boba Fett reroll. Let's spend that focus. Take one crit, which is a shield. And I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm back. Got the little double stress fix there. And I am that Dave. I'm going to tell you, I'm a huge fan of the fact that when you write my name, you put the accent on the O. That warms my heart. Thank you so much. Like, seriously, that's not sarcastic. All right, so let's look at some options here. For both players, who's trying to gain a lead here. And yes, Chris gave me some goodies for the stream. We'll talk about those later. So, hmm. So Vermeil is not stressed, so we will have to probably just going to use that to try to get in the way. Has the option to sloop. 
if you get Gideon out of the way, oh, we just switched to orange. Get Gideon out of the way. Maybe a one bank sloop. Take countdown, jump in, in there. Even though you're stressed, you say, hey, at least I'm getting shots, maybe? Hmm. My autocorrect does it for you now? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so Matt trying to decide what he wants to do with these ships. Looks like he's pretty locked in with Gideon and the striker. Mansan, si, soy Boricua. Zeke, 71, thank you so much. And uh, Judea Land, thank you so much as well. Bibadak, thank you for those 100 bits, by the way. All right, Gideon choosing to go ahead and bump Boba. Get a slight angle so you can try to see if you can get shots on Boba Fett. Tu eres puertorriqueño también. All right, so there's the one bank. Oh, he was stressed. Okay. Just trying to take up some room, block up that Boba Fett. Now well, here can be some next level uh next level boba move here with slave one title. Judah Allen, my 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 bad. Rigoberto, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Making pasteles, yum. Dominicana. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for all you non-Spanish speakers, just ha having a moment. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like he has a turn, there's a two-turn dialed in. And he's going to try the two-turn. It's close, you got to mark that, yeah, mark, 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 mark. Oh, baby, that is close. Let's see. This would be absolutely huge. That looks lined up. That looks lined up to me. Oh, <laughs> nope. They say it is not quite lined up. Not quite. Woo, baby. Alrighty, so Boba into Vermeil has two rerolls though. Two hits. Rerolling and takes two on Vermeil. <clears throat> and honestly, uh, not moving there isn't terrible for the fact that uh, Paul is avoiding two shots, two shots uh, from Gideon and Countdown. And Vermeil just wipes the floor with Lando. Lando's gone. What have we here? 
How does one gumboat? It should be in your emotes. If you are a Twitch Prime subscriber, which Mad Chemist, I believe you are. Your chat emojis. You can also type colon GSP gumboat, SQ gumboat. There you go. I know a, a buddy of mine has uh, <laughs> has the gumboats macroed on their keyboard, <laughs> so they don't they don't even have to worry about going through the thing. They just have their mouse button in the in the chat, and it just it just it just does it. It's hilarious. All right, so Vermeil, moving on up there. It's going to relieve the stress. Options are limited. Probably just throws down a focus. One straight bump and then probably some type of bank. Oh, there's a hard turn. Just taking up some space with Boba Fett. Now, here's the thing. I know that Matt's ahead, but Boba, Boba can be a monster here. And Matt has some low hole ships. Matt's got to be careful to make sure to manage those resources very carefully. Focus for Gideon. There's a two-turn revealed. And again, we're using a Slave 1 title. Paul going over his options. I think he probably ends up going to the left. We'll see what Paul chooses to do. So neither of those maneuvers clear. It's all about just how much to t t t how much to turn that arc. All right, so it looks like we're going to the right. Lining up those train tracks, see where we land. And it seems to be bumping countdown first in my... Oh, does he have a shot? It's so close. Two straight with Vader. Keeps him just barely out of the arc. Gives him an opportunity to establish a target lock here. And there's the lock from Vader. All right, Boba, range one into Gideon. And there it is, three hits and a crit. Gideon takes hit crit. And the crit is? Damage sensor array. Can only perform a focus action. And that's the only shot this turn. So that's half on Gideon. 
with a damaged sensor array. Honestly, Gideon was probably doing a focus anyway. Could argue for the evade, of course, to protect the health, but we'll see. And thank you to Stranger Danger 1986 and Stick Legs 1 and Fear Mirrors for uh, following and subscribing. Eleven minutes left. Paul needs to uppercut here. Really needs a big swing. Getting Vermeil off the board would get him, I don't know, man, 11 minutes. That's tough. Gideon gets him 15 more. Vermeil gets him 22. Oof. Pope is 102. If you could somehow destroy Vermeil, Countdown, and Gideon and just avoid taking any shots from Vader, he can win the game but we have to see how this goes uh, let's talk let's take a second um, just in case it comes up I don't think it will let's talk about talent roles okay I know there's there's been debate back and forth um, I'm not gonna give you my opinion right now but I'll tell you in this event if any of the three spots of the talent role fit then it's fine. Because my opinion at this at this juncture and uh, at this event doesn't matter. That's why I'm not giving it. It's all up to the TO. And I trust me, I read the ruling back and forth. And it, you, you make arguments both ways. And it really just comes down to TO's discretion. <laughs> oh, chat. I love you guys. Love you guys. I'll tell you, anybody who's watching in the future, if you have not caught a live stream of Gold Squadron Podcast, I mean, you get to watch the games, but having this uh, opportunity to hang out with the community in the chat um, is something very different than just watching alone uh, at home, which there's nothing wrong with. That's, that's why I put them on YouTube, so that you guys can watch them later on. But uh, joining us sometimes... And Countdown just taking up space. See, right now, he, I know that some people are probably thinking, well, why does Matt keep giving Boba Fett ships in range one? Well, the thing is that that means that these ships aren't getting shot, and Matt's ahead, 92 to 43. He's just looking for the win. And Matt disengaging with Vermeil. I think that is the right choice. One agility ship with only two hull left. Those are points he does not want to give up. Three bank. Ooh, he might just be clipping there. Might get a block on Vader, too. I think he just dropped that focus, yeah? There it is. And there's the block. And just like I'm saying, try to get these ships off the board. You chase down the ones you need. Avoid the shots from Vader. Maybe even try to get bait Vader into some compromising positions. That could be huge. All right, guys, so what do you think? Well, let's see what happens here with Countdown. I want to know what do you guys think Vader should do next turn. One reroll. Hit crit. And Gideon is g -g 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 gone. 
Panicked. Panic. Gideon off the table. <laughs> All right. Does Boba? Do you guys think Boba Fett has an opportunity to? Oh man, this is so weird. So, because of the back arc, this gives Boba Fett a chance, right? So you make the turn here, you initialize the boost, and you try to see if you can catch him at range three. And then you got the back arc lined up for Vader if Matt chases him. Honestly, Matt needs to just disengage, disengage. Because right now, um, Vader at 71 plus Countdown worth 44 are both worth more than Boba Fett. So you do, n like, if, if you're just trying to win this game and this is a team tournament, you want to win for your opponents. This isn't a just like a scrimmage match or even a tournament where you're just trying to make decisions for yourself. This is for your team. The correct decision in here is to disengage. Only six minutes left in this round. Or you just try to make sure Vader's in spots where, uh, where you can arc dodge or something. Prox mines are completely gone on Boba Fett. As is the rig cargo shoot. Hard one. Kind of in a 50-50 position there. With countdown, can choose to disengage or re-engage. Talon roll, question mark? Yup, he's going at, Bo at, uh, at Vader. Taking the stress. Vader does a T-roll. No shots here. All right, here's Vader into the side of Boba Fett. Three blanks. Spend in the lock. And use a force for two. I need to show it off. No, right? you can't. Oh, it's a surprise? Okay, it's a surprise. Sorry. You can eat. No one else can know. You're the knower. Oh, no. <laughs> it's too much pressure, Chris. All right, range three at countdown. Hit, hit. And Nettie's countdown is out. Four minutes left. And it's interesting looking at the positioning here because I think Paul Paul was on the same train of thought I was. You know the the disengage train and and Boba Fett after this, <clears throat> excuse me, after this talent roll. You know, assuming let, let's say Vader had tried to run away, and same thing with Countdown. You know, you could have you bring Boba Fett down and try to crush, but now Vader's in an arc dodging position to be on the side of these arcs and just give him uh, give him some trouble. Afterburners are still live on Vader. So Boba Fett just needs one more hole in order to be taken a half. Vermeil, one bank. He might be coming around. Nope, just the evade. I oh, was sorry, that wasn't the ailerons. That was just the just the move. One forward ailerons. Turns in. Remember that target lock is on the rock, not on countdown.
Paul deciding on which move does he want. There's the boost. Might just be getting clipped there by Countdown. But more importantly, wants a shot on Vader. That's pretty close to range one right now. Just barely range two. Use the force for hit crit on the Boba Fett. And that's going to end up being half points. And that pretty much uh, locks out the game. Structural damage. Uh, he changed it to a crit because you changed the uh, with you use advanced targeting computer first and then use the target lock to reroll the dice. All right, looks like they're calling it there. Thank you to the players so much for playing. That's fantastic. Thank you so much gentlemen for playing and that round was brought to you by curled paw creatives use coupon code crate cup 19 for 15 percent off of a 15 dollar minimum they got strength tokens all kinds of stuff man all all the things you can see some pictures of some of the stuff right here if you haven't got acrylic templates make sure to get yourself some um and i want to thank my co-commentator for that round the crate cup championship trophy just doing an awesome job making sure to uh to give you that really insightful commentary throughout the match. So, you guys crushed the uh, the goal here of, uh, of 80 subscribers to unlock the giveaway for the U-Wing. We did it. So, I think the plan here, let's take a look at the time. So, we have this Patreon giveaway for this BSF. Star Fortress, uh, we're going to be doing that for the Twitch chat. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and give away some of uh, some of the other items. We're going to do that U-Wing here. Uh, let's see, this was round, I don't even know what round this was. Was this round three, four? This was round four? I don't know. We'll do it at the end of the next round. Okay. Um. And then we'll talk about our next our next stretch goal, okay? Swaggity swag swag time. Let's go ahead and pull up these thingamajigs. So, what are we giving away? What are we giving away, Dion? So, <laughs> alrighty. So we're giving away some funny cards. This is very appropriate with Cray Cup. Uh, if you're familiar, uh, the the memes. All right, the memery. So rocking my Baron shirt today. Okay, you can get yours if you're a fan of the gold of the uh, Birmingham Barons at curlpawcreatives.com. So we got these awesome, hilarious cards. If you haven't watched the video on our YouTube channel of uh, <laughs> of when I was interviewed by my wife and asked questions from people in the community, um, it's a it's a great view. Go ahead, look it up. Go to Gold Squadron Podcast, our YouTube page. Type in Wisdom Teeth. You'll find it. Okay? Find it. It's <laughs> it's fantastic. So we're going to go ahead. We have uh, two of these cards. We have the Commander Morales, which is one of the, uh, the Thai FOs. And Dion Morallo as well. Super excited about that. Let's do it. You want me to sign them? Oh, I didn't think about signing them. You know what? Okay. I can sign them. Do you want me to sign them? I can sign. I'll, I'll sign the ones from this round. Just this round. Just this round.
All right. I'm just just for this round though. Just for this round. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, some. I, I will tell you this is. I have a sharpie here already. We'll go ahead and sign it. Dion. All right, there we go. They're signed. Okay. There we go. Yes, in gold. Why did I have a gold Sharpie? I was handed one today. <laughs> so Dion signed my stuff in gold. I'm like, all right. You can have it. So there we go. There we go. We'll do the signed. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. So this is gonna we're gonna do the commander first. This is commander signed. I gotta make sure I do the right one. Commander signed. Commander signed. And then there's gonna be Moralo and Moralo, but these are signed and signed. I'm just adding it to my my document here. Alright, here we go, Twitch. Three, two, one, roll in. This is for Commander. Go. Legendary 1319. Congratulations. And if you've never been a part of our giveaways before, you literally all you have to do is type in the chat. That's it. Yes, it looks like a ridiculous stream of things, but that's how my uh, automatic winner picker is able to uh, pick, up, uh, pick up names is by you typing in the chat. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Legendary 13. Here's another commander signed. Three, two, one, roll it. The Oz 1990. Thank you so much. Also, subscriber has been following since March, since today. Well, that's okay. You just started following. But you know what? At least you came to your senses. You did it. <laughs> Now Moralo, Moralo signed, three, two, one, go. Professor Trexuit, congratulations. And last but certainly not the least, three, two, one, the last signed Moralo card, bam, Vacon underscore. Alrighty, so those are those four. I also have... I also have one of these Darth Maul pilot cards given to us by um, the Black Sun Trials. Super awesome. Here we go. Here's Maul. Three, two, one, roll it. Ba-ba-ba-da-kaya. Bam. Hollow Mall. Got it. It's been following since May of 2017. Hardcore. Hardcore. The hardest, of course. Does he even know? Did he even realize? Ba-ba-ba-da-kaya. -ba 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 Food. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and get that in the uh, in the chat. <laughs> now remember, this is completely impartial. I'm just clicking a button, guys. I literally am just clicking a button. All right, <laughs> he bought you food. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. It listen, th the night bot giveth. He doesn't take it away. He just giveth. So that's uh, that's what happened there. So we got some of that stuff down. We are going to be giving that away later. That's to Patreon. We got the U-Wing we got to do later. Let me go ahead and get that in. The U-Wing is for Twitch. Don't forget that, Dion. Let me write it down. U-Wing for Twitch. For Twitch. Okay, there we go. So that's down. And we're going to be doing that at the end of next round. 
Okay. We're going to be doing the U-Wing for the end of next round. I got to gotta bait you guys, you know, to stay one more round. Just one more round. And, yes, you do got to be present. Um, and, yes, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set another subscriber goal. And it's for the things that Chris just handed me. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead. So, it's currently at 85. Now, you guys said that the last time that this goal was a chump goal. Like, like we, this easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, so I'm going to... I'm going to give you guys a challenge, and if you guys can't get it, you know, then uh, listen. You guys call me out saying that the challenge was too easy. Well, then we have we have to raise the stakes, okay? We got to raise the stakes, all right? So let's hold the subs for two seconds. I did see that, Mr. Chapel. Let's give me one moment because it, it, it's going to take me a second to re um, recalibrate our – our goal there. All right. So we're going to end that goal. So in a, in a second here. So I want to show you guys what Chris just gave me. So uh, four participants of Crate Cup, they were given a range two and a range one with that clone trooper crate symbol uh combination it's absolutely awesome you got a range one and a range two split range ruler set okay he has given me one two three four five now two of these patreon I still got three left. You guys can have these. I will give them to you. I will give them away if we can hit the next goal. And yes, it's going to be a big goal. And so I, I got to try to make this goal stretch all the way to the end. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it lofty, okay? I'm going to make it lofty. We're currently at 86 currently at 86 so i will hold the subs for one minute while i adjust the number currently at 86 yes you guys will get the credit for the 86 currently that we've done uh today this new sub goal is get give me crate rulers and i'm gonna set that number At 120. There we go. 120. You want them? Come get them. <laughs> Fantastic. 120. And it's already begun. Do what you can. I know we, we might... We might be a little saturated, but you know, this is, this is, we got to get people to push past, okay? Giveaways are, so no, giveaways are not just for subs. This giveaways, we need subs to get the giveaways. Anybody is eligible for the giveaways as long as you're talking in the chat. That's it. You just have more luck. That's kind of how it works out. Um, that's how the... Nightbot allows me to do it because I mean, your sub. Why? Why not get a little extra, little extra, little extra luck? But yes, anybody can actually win. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, take a little break, and if you want me to give you the range rulers as a community, we got We got to hit that goal. We got to hit that goal. <laughs> Mad Kevin <laughs> seven. Yep, yep. Give you some. Listen, listen. I hope I I want to give you swag. How I want to now to take a second to talk about how you claim your prizes. You got to send me an email, Gold Squadron Podcast at Gmail dot com. Send me what did you win? What was your your name and all that? Send me the information. But most importantly, please, please, most importantly, 
you need to send me your address correctly formatted with your name, address, city, state, uh, con zip code, country. Okay, United States, you don't have to worry about the country. If you live in a country where, where their address is not, like you have some type of special formatting, I will tell you, I sent some stuff to Lithuania the other day. Okay, their addresses are in a really weird format. And they didn't send it to me in that format. And it got sent back to me like three times. Please. I'm, I'm The new rule is if your address is not formatted, when you send it to me, if I can't just copy and paste it onto an envelope, you ain't getting it, the stuff goes back in the prize box. I know that seems harsh. I know it's J.D. Browning Unlimited Power. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Um, Will. What's up, man? Dion, how do you subscribe using your phone? You actually got to use your browser. It's it's complicated. The um, not complicated. There's some rules with Apple specifically. They they don't like things with like subscriptions. Basically, Apple would want a cut of the Twitch Prime. And uh, the Rock Cracker, yes, I will go plus one on that. I can do that here in a minute. Um, but because of the Apple rules. So if you want to do it and you're on an iPhone, you go to the Twitch website on your phone and you go log in there. It's going to try to try to transition you to the app saying, no, don't do that, please. And then you'll have access to that Twitch subscription button on the top. Okay. Tell me you have an extra one of these. Huh? Yeah. I got it in my home. Okay. Oh, this mic's not even on. No. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. Thanks for playing, man. I hope I entertained you. Huh? I hope he entertained you. Oh, yeah, man. The Boba Slave 1. Man, I could not get damage out of I know. <laughs> Both my bombs are skunky. Oh. Uh, oh. And I, I shouldn't have given Tarok up like that, but that jam screwed me. Yeah, man. I had to re... Like, I was going to barrel roll Tarok and right. then go five forward. Right. But because of the jam, I had to retard a lot. Yep. I, I call it too. I'm like, I'm like, oh no. I was like, your body language kind of showed he's planning on going on that rock. <laughs> Good game, man. All right, everybody. So uh, I'm going to take a quick break here. Um, we'll be back. The next round is in some time, maybe 15 minutes or so. Uh, does it, does yeah, this? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. We're going to go ahead. All right, that's true. That's true. We still got to do pairing. So let's go ahead. Wait screen. This is going to be round four. Four of. I heard five, but I also heard four. But then there's also, there's also the, the cut. We got plenty coming. We got plenty coming. Oops, wrong thing. So five rounds of Swiss and then top eight is what it is? I think. Four more rounds. Woo! Woo, baby! You, let me tell you guys, you guys are getting your money's worth. <laughs> We're going to be here all day. Okay? So, yeah, we are 31 away. I'm going to go ahead and swap that. Let me, before, let me, before I even leave, we're at, we should be at 87, right? 87, 87. There we go. I was able to update that. We're at 87. Four more rounds to go to unlock these crate templates. And I got a little bonus if we make it too. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to be here all night. All night. We have 292 people who are just watching on, on Twitch. And you know what? If we need to, we'll call in some reinforcements. Um, yeah. We'll be back. 